All right, good morning. How many of you guys, this is your first year in with Dominion Payroll? All right, so I've got a few hands. I want everyone in person to take a look at the calendar that's in your notebook. Everyone online, click the little button in the bottom right-hand corner of your computer and pull up December or January, either one works. I want you to notice that December 30th is a Saturday and December 31st is a Sunday. Now, why am I pointing that out instead of talking about fringe benefits? And the reason is that payroll has deadlines, money needs to move, and that means if you want anything dated in 2017, your last date of process is actually Wednesday, December 27th. And everyone likes to forget about year end. You guys are the good clients. You're here in person or you're listening online, but it's easy to forget that the 2017 ends until you reach December 30th. So I'm gonna point that out now, and I'll point it out again at the end just to make sure that you have your deadlines in place. They're also in the year end guide, so make sure you take a look at those. They are optimistic, I realize that. If your accountant can't get you the numbers until January 2nd, that's fine, we can accommodate it, but just make sure if you need your money pooled in 2017, that Wednesday or that Thursday is the absolute last day. So if that is something that your company cares about as far as doing your books, that's the date you wanna keep in mind. And with that, I don't have anything terribly exciting as far as our work and community changing, but I do have the boring things that are why you're here for your end seminar. So we'll get started with fringe benefits. So this is the five whys. So you guys are our clients. We have a great customer service team of which I am a part of and the email address is here on the slide as well as in your paper. That's your one-stop shop. Regardless of if it's a tax question, a benefits question, all of it can go to customer service. We'll get you where you need to go. We've got a number of different things happening at the end of the year on your end that we want to help you with, whether you've got fringe benefits, which is a catch-all term for the things you have to record during the calendar year so that the W-2s are populated correctly. It may or may not involve money moving. It may or may not involve taxes. Your accountant is the be-all, end-all for the whys, the whats. We do the how. You give us the numbers, we'll tell you how to enter it in ISOLV, or we'll do it for you. There we go. So as I said, fringe benefits is a catch-all term. I have a few different types of fringe benefits listed below. The key things that you're gonna to wanna to think about are how does the money actually move? If you're paying someone a car allowance and it's taxable, but they're not actually getting any money on the paycheck where they're getting the car allowance because you're doing a special run at the end of December. You either need to pay them more to cover their Social Security and Medicare, or you need to pull it from their federal taxes or somehow account for the money. So there's a number of things to think about. Your accountant or your CPA can give you different options that make sense to your business. If you call us, we're more than happy to walk you through the options, how to enter them. As far as the how to enter them, a spreadsheet is gonna be your best friend. I was working with our training department, Ashley up in Boston to put together, and I know I'm soft-spoken, I will fix this. I can see Andy looking at me to get this better. So there's gonna be a video online in Dominion Payroll, and we can also walk you through it, how to get an export of your employee numbers with the employee names. The employee names are for you, the employee numbers are for the computer. The computer doesn't know that John Smith is John Smith, he knows that he's employee number two. So that's what we need to get that imported. It'll make your life a lot easier, it'll make things a lot faster. The year-end guide also has different ways that we can get in touch with you and ways that you can give us the information we need. Oop. Group term life is one of the more complicated as far as calculated fringe benefits. Thank you, Angie. So if group term life, you know, anything above $50,000 for an employee dependent or employee or $2,000 for their dependents is taxable. And that's based on an IRS wage table that is based on your age of the employee. So there is a calculator inside of us, I solve that'll do that for you. So I'm pointing that out now because if you want to not have the calculations to do in 2018, January 1, 2018 is probably the time you want to get that started in iSolve. So again, reach out to customer service. We can get that started for you. The other common one we see is shareholder health for employees of your company who are more than 2% shareholders. The insurance paid by the company for their health insurance is actually taxable for federal and state income taxes. It's a really easy adjustment to do. We just need the numbers and who those employees are. Auto allowances are another common one. I'm going through all the details mostly so you can look at the slides later. Don't Remember, remember everything I'm saying, it's easy enough to look back on. But there's a number of ways these can be calculated. Your CPA, your accountant, it's based on mileage, it's based on the value of the car, and it can be done several different ways. If you come to us and say, someone has a car, he drove 2,000 miles, we're gonna say, okay, great, now what? And that's because you could do it a number of different ways depending on how your business does your accounting. So when it comes to questions like that, your accountant's actually the best one because they know exactly how you're doing your books, they know exactly how you're filing your taxes, and they're gonna get you the most bang for your buck and tell you to do it the best way for you. And that could be different for every person in this room. 
So we've got our general rules of thumb. I've covered all of them already in the talk. We just want to have them here on the slideshow for you to reference later. Key points are accountant first. We'll help you get it in. Excel is your friend. And remember that December 27th is a Wednesday. And that's the last technical due date for when we can pull money on a Thursday to pay people on a Friday and have that count for 2017 without baking it and doing it next year. Now that we've got the boring parts out of the way, we have the fun part, which is bonus payrolls. So this is the fun part of the holiday season here at uh, Dominion Payroll, where we get to help you help your employees if they get a one-time spot bonus, whether it's performance or maybe you give them a holiday bonus for the end of the year. Or if you don't give a bonus, that's perfectly fine. But if you have a special payroll run, all these rules still apply. So a special payroll run is something that happens outside your normal schedule. If you normally pay semi-monthly, but you don't want it to be on their normal paycheck, you want to surprise them on a Wednesday, or you need to get that special fringe benefit payroll run, again, on that Wednesday, December 27th, you're going to want to run what's called a special payroll. We're going to need to schedule it for you. It's going to be outside your normal run. You don't have permission to schedule payrolls because that's a lot of responsibility and we prefer to take that on. So for bonus payrolls, there's a few key points. These are a few examples. The questions we're going to ask you are up on the screen. It's, again, the who, what, when, where, and how. We're going to ask you how the employees are being paid, whether they're going to receive a live check, whether it's going to be direct deposit, whether you want something special. Maybe you want it mailed somewhere different so that they don't recognize the payroll package coming to your normal place of delivery. Maybe you want to cover the taxes somewhat differently. Maybe you're covering Social Security, Medicare, so they get a flat $100 instead of giving an awkward $93.45. So you've got a number of different things to think about. And knowing those questions before you call us, we have a handy-dandy link in Zendesk that we'll be able to give you. So you can fill all this out online. We'll be able to get the answers to your questions to help this go really smoothly. We've got the process smoothed down a lot over past years, so you'll be able to go through do your bonus payrolls without too much of a hitch, but you do need to know the answers to those questions. We don't know them for you. Again, it's your business. And so these are the two things that you actually want to pay attention to. We've got customer service at dominionpayroll.com. That is the email address. It goes into our ticketing system. It gets you any answer you need to know. And that's also our phone number, which I admittedly do not know this one. I actually started here as a receptionist for about two weeks. It's 804-355-3430. But I do not know that one, but it's 866-DPS-PAY-YOU if you call in, and that goes to any of our locations. So if you call in from Florida, maybe it goes to Florida, or if you're calling into our Nashville office, that's how you talk to someone in Nashville instead of someone from Richmond. So that's the main line for the corporate line here. And again, both of those will get you the answers you need to know. I do recommend email and Excel for anything fringe or bonus related. If we're auditing, when we're auditing behind you or us, it helps to have it written down instead of someone translating names and numbers from the phone. So again, email and Excel, employee numbers, and December 27th is a Wednesday.